Hey guys, welcome to today's video. My name is Kat. As always, thank you for stopping in. Today, I want to go in depth into the sun bum sunscreens and I'll also do some cool downs. It is so important to wear sunscreen in the summer and the winter months. You can get a sunburn in both summer and winter months. You can get a sunburn when it's windy outside. You can get a sunburn when it's cloudy outside. And I have fell in love with the Sun Bum products. I absolutely love, love, love them. And a lot of people ask me where I get it, why I buy it, all that kind of stuff. So I have the Sun Bum 50 SPF. And some people say, oh, SPF 50, it's too much. I prefer it that way. You can get a 30, you can get a 15, you can get an 80. I have an 80 as well. I do like that for the kids especially because I want to make sure that they are well covered. But this um, Sun Bum product is Broad Spectrum SPF 50 UVA UVB protected, water resistant up to 80 minutes and with a hydrating of vitamin E. This is more of a premium sunscreen, however, I think it is well worth it for a couple of reasons. It is oxybenzone free, gluten free, vegan, and they are a cruelty free company. And this particular product is reef safe. And when I say reef safe, some people that are like, maybe not involved in oceans or lakes or things like that may not fully understand that there is no chemicals that are in this product that will harm the marine life, the reefs, the aquatic um, animals, you know, all the microorganisms um, underneath the water. And what they have found in a lot of studies is certain products that are found in sunscreens do harm the ocean, reef, marine life, all that kind of stuff. So this is why I actually got in tune with this product um, when they actually first started. They first came out with this, you know, a couple, a few years ago now, but they um, were saying that they were reef safe and that's what I really, really enjoyed. A um, Couple of things, right off the hop, you should be reapplying sunscreen every 60 minutes. Uh, and especially if you've gotten in the water, it says water resistant, which is great, but it will come away in the water and you know leave your skin to the elements so i always say put sunscreen on every hour and especially if you've gotten right out of the water dry off put some sunscreen on um, they say you only need an spf of 30. like i said i go higher it just makes me feel better i always feel like putting sunscreen on kind of gives you a false sense of safety because you can burn so easily if you forget it one day or you forget to you know reapply so wear your damn sunscreen so anyway this stuff as i said is a premium sunscreen and for me this was 17.99 i live in canada it is worth it to me um a couple of the reasons are that it smells so good it smells like bananas it smells like like a banana cream not necessarily a pie so it doesn't have like the sweet banana but it is like a beautiful banana scent. It doesn't have the typical sunscreen smell. I do find that this product is a little bit more loosey-goosey than other products, but that is okay too. It comes out white, it dries down beautifully. It doesn't leave your skin feeling tacky and it does dry clear. It still smells like a little bit of banana and I really, really enjoy that. Don't forget to put sunscreen on the back of your hands, on your face. I use this product on my face. They do have a face version and they also have a mineral version. I'm not too into mineral sunscreens. That is just my personal preference. Um, the mineral sunscreens have more of like a blocking the skin rays versus a sunscreen. The difference is a sun block or a mineral based sunscreen will actually block the UV rays like the sun rays um, from your skin and deflect it where a sunscreen actually creates kind of like a chemical reaction between the sun rays the sunscreen and your skin where the sun will penetrate through but will not burn because there's a chemical reaction that happens between the two um, when i say chemical reaction don't be scared there is no chemicals um, that are harmful in the sunscreen itself it just creates um, more of like a filter situation between the two where it won't harm your skin. So that was the SPF of 50, I super, super love. As you can see, 
It is um, dried down clear, it's not tacky. As I said, I always reapply every half an hour. It still smells like bananas, which I can appreciate and really like, so I'm sick of the sunscreen smell. The sunscreen also f leaves me feeling moisturized, which I believe is because there's vitamin E in it. To be very fair, there is a lot of sunscreen out there that make me feel powdery or really dry, and that is you know, part of the reason why I hated those products. Um, the sun balm really makes me feel hydrated. So that is super awesome. The other thing I want to talk to you guys about is your lips. Your lips can burn just as your skin, your eyeballs can actually burn too. So that's why it is important to wear um, sunglasses as well. I picked up this lip balm and I want to be very clear and frank about this. I've had issues with the first version of this lip balm. So I'm going to test this product out and the issues I had had nothing to do with the product itself. It was just the component that it came in. But I think that they've upgraded them and that's why I purchased uh, this, the lip balm again. The lip balm does have an SPF in it and it is moisturizing. So I've got the lip balm here in the Coco Palm. It is a moisturizing lip balm with aloe and coconut oil. Mm, it smells amazing. Super, super love this product. It goes on clear. It stays moisturized. It smells amazing. $4.99, I think it's really well worth it. Make sure your skin and lips are well protected. I'll keep you guys updated on the component issues I had in the past with it and see if it happens again. And let's hope it doesn't because I love supporting this product. This brand, um, when I was reading up their like, info, because I always like do like the About Us link on the websites and they are total beach bum people and I can appreciate that. That's kind of my background in life too. So I love that. So I picked up the Cool Down Sun Bum Soothing and Restoring Aloha Lotion with Vitamin E. This is an after sun. Um, they use Aloha, I'll read the back of this. Aloha is commonly known for its healing and soothing qualities for the skin. This lotion helps to restore your skin after exposure to skin. Sun outdoor elements with regular use, regular use, it moisturizes and helps maintain your tan longer while leaving your skin feel dry, silky smooth. I can attest to this because I have an older version of the same product and I have used quite a lot of it. I did want to grab their cool down in gel, but they don't sell it near me. So that is kind of unfortunate, but this was only $13.99 and I think it's well worth it. That is another important factor about the sun. You wanna make sure you're well hydrated with lots and lots of water, um, but also your skin needs to be hydrated as well. So that's why I purchased this. It smells like bananas. Oh, it's like brand, brand new. I bought a few of them and I used one of them. So I'm lucky I got this one. So I always give everything a good shake beforehand. And this is a little bit more loosey than the sunscreen, as you can see, it's starting to run, but that is okay with me because I feel like that rubs in so much better. There is a little bit more of a, a haze um, within it. It's not as clear, but it does dry down clear. You can see it's a little bit like, a little bit white hazy, not bad. It doesn't have like a white cast, like a mineral sunscreen. Um, but yeah, so that is what it looks like. It's got a tropical scent to it, but it doesn't quite smell like the full on banana sunscreen. But anyway, super, super love. I just wanted to kind of give you guys a, just a sunscreen kind of overview quickly. Like I said, it's a good, good thing to invest in a sunscreen product and try, try, look for a sunscreen that is reef friendly. Uh, the oxobenzone free stuff is my absolute favorite. And just be aware of what you're putting on your skin and subsequently into the oceans, into the lakes, into the marine world, because we have to protect this environment we live in. So that's it for today's video, guys. My name's Kat. As always, thank you for stopping in. Today, we just kind of talked about a little bit of sunscreen and make sure you're taking care of your skin in the sun. Don't forget to comment down below, like, and subscribe to this channel for more videos. And we'll see you guys again soon.